All right, welcome back. This is WDC Radio. I'm your host. I am WDC. We're talking to my man Ray out there in India with the Medi Lab and how Ray, you still there? Yes, I am. I I just want people to know that you know I care about different causes, as you know. You see me out there with the lupus community. You see me out there with arthritis. You see me we're here with my sickle cell community. Ray, what 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 is so powerful that we get to do is that when we show up doing our sickle cell trait conversation, we also get to impact these other tests that you do. So if the community don't want to get tested for sickle cell trait, they can get tested for a plethora of things that you have. Drug and alcohol, you got you got a non-diagnostic ultrasound, you got you can do EKG screenings, you can do colon cancer, ovulation, fertility, influenza, screp throat. All this is a mobily I, 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 I I don't even know what to say, man. <laughs> and, <laughs> and that, is just, a, a that is just a sample of what we can do. You know, in America here, we, um, we suffer from a great number of, of diseases, you know, primarily, you know, high blood pressure. We have a diabetic problem. It's at the epidemic level uh, right now, you know, diabetes, high blood pressure, stroke, heart disease. These things are killing us. And unfortunately, in some communities, more than others, you exactly. know, because of our diet or lack of exercise or lack of knowledge uh, when it comes to these diseases. Exactly. And so unfortunately, it's affecting us, you know, more than many other communities. So we have to start to make an impact somewhere. And, and this is our way of trying to do it. We believe that if the, if the person is armed with information, you know, they would believe that, um, you know, they, they would be able to handle their health a little bit better exactly. rather than putting it in someone else's hands. Exactly. Ray, man, I want to thank you for calling in, man, and really and sharing um, who you are. Give them your phone number so they can just, you know, have your information. Um. Certainly, they can call us at 760-347-7175. That is the number directly to the Health Screening Center. Seven six zero three four seven seven one seven five. All right, Ray. Thank you, man. I will definitely be in contact with you um, shortly after the show, so we can you know, get this conversation moving forward. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So I want to just give the community a little breakdown of of what's what's the count on sickle cell prevention. What does what does war on sickle cell is going to look like? As you just heard, but mobile testing unit is my number one. Like that is. That's going to be key because that's going to travel with me wherever I go. Um, one of the first things we're going to do, we're doing a high school tour, college tour. So we'll be going to speak to the college. I've already done it in a couple of schools here. And so I know what it looks like, what it feels like. So we've already been accepted. Um, and so we'll be doing our high school tour, elementary school, junior high. Um, and then we're going to do a faith-based ministry tour like I shared with you earlier. This is no mistake. This is my purpose in life. And my experience and with Jody, who's a gospel rapper, has sickle cell disease, SC. He and I are teamed up together to go into the churches and share our stories, share his story and re-educate the community about sickle cell. Along with that, the mobile testing unit will be there for those people who are who want to get tested for the sickle cell trait or whatever else health issues that they want to find out about. Um, one of the, another thing that's on my line items is my climate briefing. I've discovered that a lot of conversation um, interviewing my sickle cell community is all about they they always share about the hospital experience. Well, I've got a conversation that I I, I believe that can impact the hospital experience. If if we if you show up angry and frustrated, how will, how do you think your experience is going to be at the hospital? But if you can show up with peace and pe- compassion and love for that nurse and that doctor, guess what your experience could to totally be a different experience. So I have a conversation for that where I'm going to bring the doctors, the nurses, the community to an open forum, and we're going to dialogue about the climate in the hospital that they attend and find out what it is is going on in that environment. So that's coming to you. Um, my man, Arby, he's, he's going to share with you how I'm going to have my annual event, um, a, a, a red carpet fundraising event for, for what's the kind of sickle cell trait prevention, a gala that we agreed to do during the Academy Awards week. And he's going to share with you some more about that. Um, every quarter, we're going to provide a mixer. So we're going to go out into the community, have you come out and share, meet, mingle, meet with you, create more communication, create more connections with the community. So we'll be having mixers and briefings every quarter. 
as you see wdc radio we're here right here live there you go in person there live in color so <laughs> one hour show here about sickle cell whatever the cause whatever your community issue is you get to come here and talk about that um everybody's been asking me about the clothing line the hat the gear is coming soon my man arby's going <laughs> to expand on that with That's you in right. a short second so the what's the count gear you see me wearing it is about to come to you in a, in a very particular special way exactly. not, not just a clothing <clears throat> brand but a contribution to give back as well exactly um one of the things i wanted to, we're going to talk about shortly is the pledge um there's going to be a pledge here i'm i'm, I'm kicking off the nonprofit september 30th and we're going to do a, a show here pledge where you'll be able to donate to those different line items that i share with you um you got to fund a war like any war it has it's to be extraordinary funded. man it's, it's extraordinary and so this it's is this is my war on sickle cell so this is what it's going to look like so the pledge is going to kick off September 30th right here on WDC <coughs> Radio. Um, I got a text number. I'm going to give it to you right now. Um, it's text WDC Radio to 22828. That's going to add you to our email list coming up for the um, the pledge. So you want to take down, you want to text the word WDC Radio, one word, to 22828. And that'll get you to our email list. You know I have my other text number. Text the word TRAIT to 41242. That's my community outreach text. So when I'm coming to your town, I'm going to blast a text message and say, hey, I'm going to be over there at Lock High School on such and such date. Or I'm going to come into your town that we can connect and, and, and advocate together in your community. Um, I'll be speaking, oh, man, at the Flag Fest October 5th. Um, my man, Ed Blunt. Look up Ed Blunt. We got the Flag Fest coming. You can go to www gdflagfest.com it's a platform for sickle cell lupus but it's the next extreme sport mm -hmm. for football if you watch the and one tour with the basketball tour this is that for football so shouts out to my man ed for allowing me to be a part of that and a platform to reach millions and millions of people with sickle cell with lupus and veterans because i'm a veteran too so that's another conversation mm -hmm. um that'll be downtown la on the 5th of october um, on 12th and Figueroa, um, I'll be speaking at the Medi Lab that you just talked to, you just heard from Ray. I'll be speaking there on my first sickle cell lecture down there at his lab on the 27th of September at 7 o'clock. So I'll give you more information on that. And that's just that's what's to count. Um, on one last note, my shouts out to my man Alan in Atlanta. We are creating the Stop Sickle Sex campaign, so he's going to be a part of that. We're all teaming up together. You know, you heard that how Tyrese and, and um, Tank and uh, what's the other guy? They create a little genuine, genuine to create a little group. Right. Well, we created that amongst ourselves in the Stop Sickle Sex campaign that my man Alan is the stop. Jody is the sickle and I get to take <laughs> on the sex in that conversation. <laughs> right on. Right, right on. Obvious right. Moves. No, obvious so moves. so <laughs> in that Stop Sickle Sex campaign, we're going to have petitions because we want to. This is the only another way we get to make a difference, in not only in the community, but we got to change policies. We got to stand together. We got to unite and we got to change policies. We got to get sickle cell <coughs> trait up there. Like you can ask any kid if they know about AIDS, HIV, and they can mm -hmm. tell you yes. Mm -hmm. But you ask anybody about sickle cell trait and it's not a it's common conversation. Exactly. So only way we can do that is get policies in place where we people are more educated. The information is out there, the commercials, the PSAs. Mm -hmm is out there and that's that's how we're going to do that with the sickle sex stop sickle sex campaign i'm done rambling along we're going to see if there's anybody <laughs> out there in the social media if you want to hit us up you can hit me up at twitter i got my my note right here uh, we got the facebook page going you know if we have any questions you can call in 323-247-7443 you want to ask me any questions about my programs about what we're going to do or what i've already done um, just hit us up there you go jody you got your twitter at DVC Jody. You can tweet. You can tweet Jody as well. So we here live right here. Um, until we get a phone call, we're just gonna move right along into the next part of the conversation. What well, you know, one of the things I want to do be, as we're moving to this right now, most of my friends out in the Palm Springs area that know me, um, I'm head of the Palm Springs Fashion Council, and a lot of my people out there know that I'm a fashion designer, mostly in haute couture. That being said, I want all my friends out in Palm Springs that are listening to definitely pay attention to this. Uh, the Indio area, as you know, is part of the Coachella Valley, which is Palm Springs, Indian Wells, Palm Desert, Rancho Mirage. Um, I definitely want certain people to take a heads up. Todd Hooks, 
Economic Development for Aqua Caliente. Somebody should be giving them a note right now to tune into this because it affects their area. And the Indians are really concerned about not only their, their gaming, but they're concerned about health care. Yeah. This is an area I don't think that they're much aware of. And they want you there to support them. The Coachella Valley Economic Partnership needs to pay attention to this because when you mention Indio, it's not a vacuum. It's the Coachella Valley area. Right. So, in fact, one of the things I want to do is give a shout out to a couple of people in groups that have kind of brought all of us together. Okay. Your boy's name out there in Indio. Um, uh, Ray. Ray. Ray and you met through Joshua Josh. Thornton, right. who's head of <laughs> Spread Love Entertainment. And if you log on and see some of the new graphics, uh, Brandon Eber and Joshua has hooked this thing up, I mean, to oh, the nth man. degree. I mean, it's no joke. So, you guys, I want you all to log on to look at see what uh, Joshua and Brandon is doing out there in, in the Valley. Uh, Josh is an IT technic. I mean, what do you call these guys? Geniuses? Genius. Anything you want, trust me. The way I yammer on professionally <laughs> and do it great, he can rival me when it comes to IT technology. So this is the guy you need on your team to put together your infrastructure, whether it's your business that you're building, social media, uh, search engine optimization. So we all sort of met each other with a common goal. So I definitely want to give them a shout out. Sure. What I want everyone to do right now is to realize, let me sort of back up a little bit because I get excited and I start to yammer more than Ferran does. So <laughs> it's a tag team right now. Um, all of you listeners that are out there right now, uh, Ferran has gone over some of the projects that we've all discussed. And so we're it's up to us to take his lead. But what I want you all to do is focus in on this pledge drive. And that's going to be September, I think it's September 30th. September 30th. Yeah. So we have... Four more Mondays. Everybody needs to follow this over the next few weeks. As you know, any type of a project takes funding. So if Ron is not asking anybody to give him a handout, just a hand up. I want everybody to log on from here to Caracas to Taipei. On that day, log on and donate at least five dollars. It ain't gonna break you spend more than on Starbucks. Yeah. But what we've done, you all, is given Ferran's platform somewhere to go. You can have all the ideas you want, but without those collaborations, you're just a great idea sitting on the docks. Right. So what we've all decided to come to do today, it's not about what I do, what I do, uh, Lamar or anybody else. It's about what is Ferran's vision. And our job, whether it's Spread Love Entertainment, the Palm Springs Fashion Council, Night Productions, is to get this gentleman's vision to where it needs to be, to be a blessing to the people that are out there crying that needs help. And a lot of people are not willing to do that. So when you, when we find people, you all, that are willing to get out there and roll their sleeves up, our job should not be, how are you going to do that? Our question should be, what do you need from us to get to where you want to go? Right. If it's raising money, oh, we can do that. So everyone listening, I want you guys to pay attention again. When the day comes, Everyone's going to be logging on because if I see you in the streets, I'm a clown. Here. <laughs> Give a brother five dollars. You can do more than that. Yeah. I, I ain't mad at you. But you all can see how easy this is if everybody just sort of joins hands together. Like Mama said, Mama was from the South. She said, baby, if you got one biscuit in a room full of people, make sure everybody get a bite of that biscuit. Nobody goes, I'm hungry. <laughs> Listen, so with like Ferran was saying, you guys. Keep me in point if I get a little carried away because y'all listen to me. Y'all know I can talk a lot. <laughs> One of the things that we're going to be doing that that we had talked about was the yearly gala. Yeah. Uh, the same way that Elton John does the the awards, I mean, the banquet after the Academy Awards. I said, for Ron, what you need to do is have your gala during the Academy Awards. So you will be hosting the Sickle Cell Gala during the Academy Awards. So they'll have monitors going up, best actor, best director, I mean, best, you know, yeah. technology, most don't watch those, <laughs> but the main ones, you know, you know what I'm saying. Right. But then as Ferran was saying, there's other events coming up on a quarterly basis. Right now it's about getting out there. Listen, you guys, it doesn't have to be sickle cell that you're dealing with. It could be something else, no matter what that might be. Right. Because issues are issues. I might be dealing with something that's not sickle cell related, but it's all parallel. Because if I'm suffering with something, I just want some answers. But I want to make certain people are saying, do you know what I'm going through? Can yeah. you really hear what I'm saying? It's one thing to talk about this. It's another thing to give people encouragement. But let's give people some practical applications. Let's give them some tools. Like one of the young girls called in two weeks ago and had an idea to write a book. Well, Ferran just wrote his, I mean, Lamar wrote his own book. Let's give her some tools. Well, I have this idea for this other project. I don't know what to do. We'll call Joshua Thornton that's for Live Entertainment. He can give you some ideas about modern technology. So you're not depending on anybody to take care of yourself. You're depending on your own talents, skills, gifts, and abilities. Right. And that's why God gave us these gifts. 
was to utilize those to get you where you want to go. Exactly. So all these things happening, while well, we're going to be yamming off for the next few weeks, and, and uh, I might be invited back, depending on how I run <laughs> in the next few minutes, but I'm going to be out there. And, look, you guys can post me questions on my Facebook page, Aubrey Ward. You know, I'm the only fly brother on this. And, so. what's, <laughs> what? and, well, you know. <laughs> and what's, what's important is, 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 especially in the Coachella Valley, by being able to take that on, um, the Hispanic community is number two. You know, without a doubt, the, the African Americans, yes, we're number one in that, and we own that, and that's what I want our sickle cell community to own. We, okay, we we were, we own it, but number two is Hispanic. Um, you have Latin, the um, Mediterranean, European, Caucasian. It's not just race anymore; exactly. it's a global issue. Exactly. So I have people that I've met from Malvadi's Mali. Shouts out to Shivnis, who lives in Mali, who has sickle cell and thalassemia. Yeah. Um, you have people in Uganda. You have people in New York. I have advocates across the country that are partnering with me to team up to share their stories and share their information. Exactly. Because it's not it's not race related anymore. It's a global issue. It's a humanitarian issue. And so that, that that's what it's about. Just just giving people the information, the tools, and like you said, just educating people about what sickle cell trait. Brian, can I just say this? Yeah. Uh, what I want Lamar to do is sort of give the listeners. Um, I need for all the listeners to understand our own small participation in this. I'm from the fashion business, and I know that I'm also really good at marketing, strategic planning, public relations. I'm also a member of the World Fashion Organization, which when you presented to me your idea with the clothing line, it's like you are really not dependent on government grants. You're not going to turn them down. No. They're welcome. Yes. But you ain't asking nobody because, like, no, we are self-sufficient. So you all, what I can bring to the table is the opportunity to to take his – regional brand and create a global brand through the WFO, through my participation. That way, I'm going to say we at this point, we're not dependent on any government grant, state, local, or federal because we're self-sufficient. When you have a clothing line and you're presenting that where you're providing jobs for veterans, you're giving people with sickle cell the chance that Aubrey, I can't do it. Well, just sit there and make some sketches and give that to us. So now we're going to pay you for that because the the, the brand is not just one solid piece of evidence right. it's a collaboration of individuals organizations this group that group and you all that are listening it's not just about the sickle cell that's the catalyst for all of us to come together as a village and as a team to get you to where you want to go me being in fashion but lamar is in tv and films and publishing so i want lamar to explain explain what his vision was for him taking control of his life by publishing his own book, and that's going to give listeners the idea, wait a minute, if they can do that, I wonder what I can do. So, Lamar, if you don't mind, just sort of give them an idea of what, how we hooked up and what the vision is. Uh, most definitely. Well, uh, me and Aubrey met in Palm Springs at the Village Fest, and I was out there setting up shop to promote the, the soundtrack of Rose and sell books out there. And and, um, oh, excuse me. What was that again? www.thesoundtrackofrose.org. <laughs> <The soundtrack of laughs> right. I'm also his manager, 30%. Don't shout me out. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> um, actually, a good friend of mine who's an author, um, Chris, Christopher Moore, He, um, it was through his suggestion not to let a publishing house control your works and basically have your books sit on a set on the shelf and collect dust. Right. So um, at his advice, I pulled my book from the publishing house and printed it out, printed it out myself. And that's opened the doors to it now going into film development and all the networks that has come through that. And that's where I want to bring to the table to encourage people to take their works and not look for a handout or somebody exactly. else to take their work. You there, there are books online. You can contact me. Um, Twitter, Facebook, Lamar Knight, and we want to give you the tools with with the group of writers that I have, directors, producers, whether it's through Nice Rome Publishing, which is my company, or we can guide you to a better publishing house for you, exactly. if if that's what you want to do. Exactly. But but we suggest taking it, taking the bull by the horn, and publishing your own rights, producing your own film, your television show, shoot your own pilot with resources that we have with cameras and studios and whatnot. You can contact us, and we can get your works done where you own the rights to your own material where exactly. they come to you instead of you having to go to them exactly. to get your work done and this this is particular like i said this is platform is for sickle cell my sickle cell trade community sickle cell disease community because a lot of our conversation is that the disease i can't do it i can't go to work i can't go to college i can't do i have all these talents the disease does not define you exactly that is and that is my other thing I'm going to be preaching forever mm -hmm. is that the disease is not defined that you can do whatever you want. There's a reality to sickle cell disease, yes. You, there's pain, there's crisis, there's blood transfusions, there's medication. Mm -hmm. 
but at, it does not define you. Exactly. You, if you can listen to talk to Jody DBC over here, my man is walking around with a 5.1 blood count. Enough hero. energy to barely sit up and watch TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's a gospel rapper. He's in the community. He's, he's taking care of his daughters. Tell him who you are, DBC man. Yeah, I'm a um, gospel rapper. Um, right now, um, I'm working on my ninth CD. Mm. I've been doing music since 2000, a year after my mom passed, and her death inspired me to do what I do today because I had 11 brothers and sisters born and raised in Chicago. I was born with the disease. Everybody else had the traits. They was all healthy and having fun. Me, I was a mama's boy. (laughs) I'm glad I was because she gave me that extra love to live because that gave me hope. Without hope, what do you have? You know, and I just thank God that I'm here today. To My music is not for me. It's for the sickle cell community, to those that you know, need inspiration to those that's in a hospital, to those that can't get a job. You can do, you don't need a job. You're your own work. Exactly. You know, Amen. we are all born with the gift. We are all talented, you know, and um, that's why I'm here today with Ferran. You know, we're going to take this to another level. We got something very powerful coming out. That's in right. In the next couple of weeks, I can't really get into it, but it's going <laughs> to bless the lupus and the sickle cell community. Tell, tell them how many churches before we and you met, Tell them how many churches you had been out there sharing wow. your story with, man. I, from all the way up from 2002 up until 2010, I ministered at over 500 churches. That's just in California, mm. not counting the churches in Arkansas and Memphis, um, Atlanta. We're going to do more than that in the sickle cell community. We're going to go global, Australia to Japan to London to mm. England. It's we, a global issue. That's man. our vision. You know, because without a vision, we're going to perish. Exactly. Mm, exactly. You know, and I just thank God for our vision of what we're doing today. What, what you got, Lamar? You know, I just wanted to piggyback on what he said that I'm going to have to post. <laughs> <laughs> you you are your work. That, exactly. That's something that I think is yeah. at, at the core of me is trying to guide people to the realization that God created you for a purpose, not just to sit in a cubicle for somebody else not right. knocking though you know no, no, no. yeah no those, not at all the way but you there. are created for something bigger and greater you have exactly. a talent that you slept on that's in your notepad somewhere that you, you figure can, one day i'll get we don't have one you day. can it's use right the, now. you can use your work that you're doing right now to be a contribution i mean i can tell you that i've Thank met people exactly. i met a guy who worked at mattel toys hmm. and hated his job right and it was like, well, what what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Well, you know, I like to go skiing. Well, then what if you went to work saying that that Mattel job is paying for your ski trips? That's right. Exactly. Then when he did that, man, it, it shifted his thought process. Well, no whole, wonder. It's a thought process. Right. It's whole thought process. Your exactly. mindset, man. Exactly. It's, mindset. It's not, That's what. It's not you know, difficult. What I, but we, we, all, we all get excited now. So <laughs> go, ahead, go ahead and preach. Bro. What's, what, no, what? real quick. Everything we talking about today, our pastor preached a message yesterday. Yeah. He said, aren't you tired of taking out somebody else's trash mm. or bringing somebody else their coffee? <laughs> exactly. Let them bring you your coffee in your own corporation. And That's it's right. true. You know, we're talented, but yet we're stagnant. Exactly. Because we, we're in a box. Mm. You know, we don't the think. The disease that. does not define. It, exactly. it, even if it's Even if it's not just sickle cell, it's lupus, it's whatever, arthritis. Cancer, diabetes. It does not stay. Well, brother, let me, let me just say this, too. No, you just hit the nail on the head. No, no, no. A lot of times people look at the physical conditions, but mm-hmm. they ignore the mental. Exactly. When you said being lazy, it's mm-hmm. fear, it's anxiety, it's doubt, it's mm-hmm. unbelief, but it's also the folks you're around right now, too. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You know, somebody uh, asked me to read a contract the other day, and I said, I don't read, I'm read, too. I'm only kidding. I heard that on a television <laughs> show. I said, put it out there. I'm entertaining the truth. Why are they laughing? <laughs> Lamar posted a post on Facebook. Your brother. Right now. I just wanted to break it with a little humor. But what I'm saying is that you guys, a lot of the, you all that are out there, I want you guys to shout this out to every one of your friends, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. And I want you guys now to be a part of this movement. There's a lot of them out there. But this is what we're focusing in on today. You don't have to have the condition, but you can have a mental condition mm-hmm. where you've been mm-hmm. stagnated for such a long time because somebody's telling you today you you're not going to do that. You can't you're never going to make it. You mm-hmm. are what they're telling you is not what you can't do. They're telling you what they can't do. Exactly. So That's don't their fear. don't let somebody's reality become your reality. Exactly. And be exactly. very careful. Don't let someone's vision become your vision. Mm. So whether or not you guys are involved in a physical battle or a mental battle, we're here right now to give you the the right and the opportunity. So you know what? If they can do that, I wonder what I can do. So wherever you are right now, take out a notepad, start taking notes. Say, wait a minute, I got an idea. 
we had all talked about this before. Every major uh, corporation, every major empire began with an idea. Somebody said, you know what? I got an idea. When I went to Palm Springs a few years ago, I said, you know what? I'm going to take over the city. I don't know how, but I am. But it wasn't about me. Yeah. Shops were closing down. People were losing their jobs. Let the jobs go. You're looking at this the wrong way. Take your company, take what you have, and, uh-huh. and create a marketing strategy to a global market. Don't confine your ability by what you can see right now. It has nothing to do where you're about to go. Exactly. Look at your vision beyond yourself. I'm going to tell you all what, what was told to me years ago. And God spoke to me in, in a dream, and I believe it was him because the devil wouldn't give me nothing good but some bad news. <laughs> He's told me this. <laughs> remove the limitations on your limitations and make big plans. We had talked about this coming. The guy's like, do you think I put you there with no resources? It's like, okay, when you get ready, I'm here to help you out. But if you don't move, nothing's going to happen. Yeah. You know, the Field of Dreams, of course, was 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 a extraordinary movie. But there's so much truth in parallel. If you build it, they will come. Yeah. When Lamar and I talk on the way in, we get a chance to fellowship. I said, Lamar, if you don't make a move and make a phone call, you will not realize that along the way, you had all these people that had to line up to get to where you are right now. And I said, Aubrey, I made one phone call. It's like, how can you haven't called us until now? Yeah. You know the reasons why? Because what they were saying, you can't do this and this. And the other said, but wait a minute, we ain't going to do all that. Right. Let them stay over there because we got you hooked up over here. But as long as you're looking over here, uh-huh. you're this close to the destination. I, I, I just want everybody to know. I'm just a regular. I'm, you know, I'm just a guy. I, I have military experience. I got some. There's some no, good not. stories. There's <laughs> some good regular. stories out there about me. There's some bad ones. And you know what? I own them all because I, I take responsibility for my own life. So whatever happened out there, I own those experiences. But who I get to be today is somebody who gets to make a difference. Mm. And and when I discovered that my sickle cell experience connects me with a cause. I, I pray to God, like, what what is my purpose, man? I, and I thought sickle cell was my purpose, but mm. who I get to be for people is I get to empower them in their cause. Exactly. Right. And everybody we care about, if you care about mental health, if you care about bullying, if you care about how many ants is in the ant farm, you want to <laughs> do, I mean, it's a cause. And mm-hmm. it's something that you care about. It's your passion. You can take that and you can create your own way. You can make your own difference. And you can find those people who care about saving ants. Exactly. You know, and you find those people and you do you do you make a difference. So this is just this is just what we get to do, man. You know what? Let me just let me reiterate the whole most people that are very talented and very gifted that have a good heart will never talk about how good they are. And Ferran's one of those people. It's like, brother, Humble don't brother. get mad because you're blessed. Just, <laughs> yeah, that's just what I am. But the good news is somebody might say, Well, I'm just ordinary. Well, Ferran's extraordinary. And that's the difference between people that are gifted that can get up and make things happen. They're not just ordinary, but they're extraordinary. And that's God's gift. Mm-hmm. Um, so what, what we need to make certain that we do, you all, is stay in our lanes. Uh, as, as the team knows, when we're talking about Ferran's thing, we're talking about his stuff. When it's Lamar, it's about Lamar's vision. When it's my neighborhood, we talk about other things. But right now, today, it's all about this, uh, this campaign to this pledge drive. Coming up in a few weeks. September 30th. September. And you guys, what I really need you all to do is to realize and understand that whatever your budget might be for yourself, don't stop yourself because you don't have a dollar in front of you today. Look at your opportunities. So everybody out there listening, I want you all to continually watch this and monitor this because we're looking to raise, I think, about $300,000 between now and October 1st. That's just the last for the rest of the uh, of the season. That's going to pay for staff, for conventions, for special events. And uh, uh, Ferran's looking to give money away for scholarships. Whoa, we're yes. gonna we're gonna have a competition. Tell them about the, the clothing line That's competition. What I was about. I, oh, holla, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, my bad. You get to make a difference in the, in the clothing, bad, the clothing okay, line. Well, I, well, I told you. <laughs> One of the things that that um, Ferran showed me was his clothing line, and by being, is that Josh sending me more messages? Josh, <laughs> would you please just give me a chance? That's our boy for Spill Living Entertainment. He wants to give me his phone. I'm gonna give out your number, bro. Hold up a second. <laughs> With Ferran's clothing line, I saw the prototypes. They're extraordinary. Thank what you. what we need to do now is get the young people involved. So the way we can do this, we've come up with an idea of having a competition. Not so much a pseudo uh, uh, project runway, because no one's going to lose on this. We're going to select certain young people to give us ideas about designs and silhouettes, uh, fabrications, and we're going to put together a team with Ferran's help to guide this competition. That's going to get the young people involved. 
where they can get it at. Because not everybody wants to go out and have a gala if you're 17 right. years old, but they know Project Runway, America's Next Top Model, they know social media, they know the fashion industry. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be one outlet. The good news is each one of these young people will get a prize. So we're not going to select a group and choose who the best ones are. I shouldn't give out this information yet because they're going to know how we're going to do it. <laughs> Too late. Scratch that. Scratch that. Uh, I didn't say nothing. Yeah. I didn't say nothing. But just I'll, know. Just know. It's going down. It's, it's going to be It's awesome. going down. It's going to be crazy. It's, yeah, it's going to be great. And, 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 and one of the things, Aubrey, that we get to do with that, there's so many youth that you share with me who have the talents, who don't have the outlets. Don't have from the From different outlet. countries. Oh, my God. Yeah. Who don't have a way to get their resources exactly now the one good thing about the world fashion organization i think they represent i think 39 countries around the world and their board of directors are major players i mean from red carpet designers to the italian market caracas taipei switzerland i'm one of the u.s regional coordinators here in america so they say we can take one of your regional brands and create a global brand but their objective is to end poverty through the fashion industry so they work with people in villages to give microloans to create textiles. We're also part of the United Nations Global Compact Center. So we can do a lot more through the help of a need. But how do we know what that need is unless we're out there talking to people like Farhan and we all meet each other? So wait, I got an, wait, I got the resources for that. What we don't have is the talent. Well, what if you're some kid living in India, you know, being afraid to show his brothers that he can draw really nice dresses? Right. Well, that's the guy who's going to be leading the tables in Milan and Paris and L.A. and Beverly Hills. He's the one that you can go front and get, say, look, we're going to give you some guidance and some structure. And then he goes back and hires his family, his friends. He's creating a market. Hmm. Now he's being self-sufficient, exactly. but he's building people back to work. So that's what the goal is going to be. You all, just really quickly, I got to do this as one of our sponsors. You know, um, there's a number, 805-479-8000. That's 805-479-8000. 8,000. That's for Spread Love Entertainment. I think you get a free website for me doing this because I just gave up. <laughs> That's Joshua Thornton. Yeah. Holler at your boy. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he did some really good work. So bottom line is, even with our brother down here, he had asked uh, Lamar about writing his book. And Lamar gave him some practical applications. Start right where you are. Don't worry about the end result. Just know where you're going to be going. Right. And when you find out where you want to go, getting there is going to be easy. So... Jody, anything you want to say with the people, man? I know for for me, we we talk about. I, I posted on Facebook today that it was, and I got this message from God is that He never said that the cure to sickle cell was in medicine. That if you believe that He could heal today like He did yesterday, you already healed because He died on the cross, mm. and that blood that dripped back down into the dirt has already been paid for. What do you want to say about the spiritual side of that, Jody? Because it it, it Again, the mindset of our community is that it just, there's no hope. I'm going to give you a good example. I haven't seen my son since, what, 2001? Yeah. And he called me. No, I called him. God put on my heart to call him and didn't know he was in pain and he has sickle cell traits. And I said to myself, well, he's not going to want to talk to me. So Ferran said, let me call him back. <laughs> And God blessed Faran, used Faran to open him up, yeah. mm -hmm. to give him some ideas on what to take. And he didn't tell him nothing about no medicine, just the basic things, you know, drink water. Alkaline water. Alkaline water. Gatorade. And my son texted me back. He got inspired. He felt a lot better. Texted me this morning. Wow. Said that his conversation blessed him. Amen. Yeah. So it's all about our faith. Exactly. You know, putting our trust in him. I mean, I took over, I mean, I'm not ashamed to say it, back in 2000, I started taking almost 400 pills a month, mm. and it was making me worse and worse and worse. So I prayed, and I stopped all the medications. I felt better. My skin cleared up. I had more energy. Mm -hmm. I had more strength, and I used it with the word. Yeah. Yeah. Not saying God can't use medicines. You know, he gave man the wisdom. But of course, he gave us wisdom as well. Exactly. You know, who do we trust in? You know, what about the person that does not have any insurance exactly. that can't get medication? Right. 
you know, they have to trust God. Exactly. Mm. So our faith, not saying, no, don't take your meds. I'm not saying right. that. No, we're not doctors, especially. I'm, I'm just saying what works for me, which is God, the word of God. That's the start, man. You know, I'm doing it again. There's a scripture that says that the footsteps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. It also says himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses and diseases, and by his stripes we were healed. I believe all of us got to this table not by accident, but it was by God's divine appointment. I met Lamar in Palm Springs just walking down the stream thinking, what are you doing here? God says, go back and talk to him. I decided to leave Palm Springs temporarily and move back to my city, and I called Lamar up. He's right around the block from where I live at. And we're coming into LA today to support this brother Mm -hmm. because Lamar had the faith to get up and move when God says, go make a move. Don't look at your circumstance. He said, but you had to get to that place to trust that I have everything worked out already. And that's what the word tells Mm -hmm. us to do. See, the one thing too, is there's a threefold course not easily broken. So we're all here together in agreement. Mm -hmm. Believe me, he said, when you all sat at that table, it was a done deal. Mm -hmm. So now those of you who can actually log on, say, I'm gonna be a part of that. Guess what? You're gonna prosper even greater than we are and take everything you have and trust God's timing. Don't allow the enemy to come and tell you what you can't do. Exactly. Say, okay, I don't know what I can do, but I know what I can do. If all this brother can do is just sit over here and write some lyrics, that's his step of faith. Exactly. The one with the issue of blessed, if I can just touch the hem of his garments, I'll be made whole. She didn't sit there. She got up. Action. And in spite of all of the negativity, she started to move. Gotta be an and when she touched the hem of his garment, said, wait, somebody's touched me. And they said, Lord, mm-hmm. wait a minute. Everybody's. He said, no, you don't understand. Someone has touched me because virtue has left my body. The woman, fearing and trembling, told what she had did. And he said, daughter, thy faith has made thee whole. Paul said, show me your faith without your works. I'll show you mine by my works. You believe in God? So what? Demons believe and tremble. Mm-hmm. You trust God? Make a move. Watch God take 13 moves after that one move. Exactly. So everybody, this brother over here, nest behind over there, trust the brothers, listen, he's, he's giving us, that's an amen <laughs> corner. You all, we can all see how this stuff is not just real, mm-hmm. but it's our reality. And we're obligated. To, so once you heard it, it's on you. Mm-hmm. If you don't want to do that's they're okay, that's on you. So I, I just want to go over the programs again. This is WDC Radio. This is my, my nonprofit. It's called What's the Count on Sickle Cell Trait Prevention. The mobile testing unit is my most powerful result because I get to find out what's the count on sickle cell trait. People get to be tested on not just sickle cell trait screening, but as you heard, other plethora of different health issues um, that the MediLab can take on. Um the high school tour, the college tour, the elementary school tour, the junior high school tour, um, where, where we'll be going out and sharing our stories, doing a, a, like a little festival where exactly. we're going to provide, we're going to provide us food. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to provide food. We're going to provide entertainment, and we're going to pro- provide our education in in those different schools and those colleges. The Faith Based Ministry Tour with Jody and um, with uh, Alan out in Atlanta, where we'll be going together sharing our messages, sharing our stories. Um, oh, I f- almost forgot that we're going to do the Benefit Concert December, December 14th. 14th in uh-huh. Long Beach. So we'll be putting that out um, mm-hmm. to you as well um, this coming December. And um, the Climate Briefing, another another conversation I want to have with the community where we can bring in the doctors. I, I, a lot of those conferences that they have with the, with the, with the doctors and nurses, the community is not invited. Mm-hmm. And, and we, we, we don't get a say-so. We don't get any input. They're the ones that's dealing with the disease. They're the ones that need the the doctors need to listen to. You can only get so much information from the paper, from the book, from your Mm -hmm. knowledge. Each individual is affected by sickle cell differently. Mm. And and how else are you going to know what they're dealing with unless you actually talk to that person and find out what they're dealing with? Not just because the book says you should you should not be in pain because your blood count is an eight. Mm. That's not necessarily true because those people are affected differently. So the climate briefing is going to bring in the doctors. We're going to invite doctors and nurses and the community. It's not a bashing session, so the community will be told <laughs> this is not where you start taking your punches at the doctors and nurses, but we're going to right. find out what exactly is the environment, the climate in your exactly. facility, and then interact with the conversation and see how we can alter that hospital experience. Um, the Red Carpet Gala, I'm just excited about that, having the sports brand connected with that, the Las clothing Vegas. line. Um, it, it, this is a red carpet event with with uh, uh-huh. <laughs> red carpet 
Yes, for the, the gala. The gala, yes. And those are like expensive evening gowns. Yes. And they all have to wear Aubrey Ward Couture. Am I correct I'm, about that? I'm, I'm, I'm wearing Chuck Taylor's. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you go, why are you going to put me out there like I'm that? wearing a tuxedo and Chuck Taylor's. <laughs> Any woman that shows up wearing wearing Versace, they're not going to be allowed in. Am I correct? That's correct. Is that what's all the, right? What's the, what's the, what's the gear? It's Aubrey Ward that's Couture. That's right. Well, Versace can show up if they, if they call and ask nicely. <laughs> You know, me and Don Teller, we friends because I fly her jet every now and then. Okay, okay. I'm, not, I'm lying. Look, y'all, <laughs> y'all pray much for me. Farron, what's your what's your phone number? My phone number is 323-215-5384. That's 323-215-5834. One more time. 323-215-5384. You can call me anytime. My phone is on 99.9% of the time. You can text me. Um, if you have sickle cell disease arthritis whatever your whatever cause you want to talk about i'm open to have that conversation with you and, and help you discover maybe a purpose or passion in, in that that's that's my gift and your website my website is wdc on sct awareness.org that's wdc on sct awareness.org one more time wdc on sct awareness.org and now brother lamar oh by the way brother lamar knight is a um, great husband father philanthropist oh. artist he wrote this book the soundtrack of rose.org he's donating part of the proceeds of this book he's taking the responsibility of creating his own site where you can buy this book on his site you can download a pdf file for $1.29 Y'all couldn't afford a dollar twenty nine. Some of you can, some of you can. <laughs> well, we know that I manage. So what what we're trying to do is get everybody involved. Go to www.thesoundtrackofrose.org. Not the rose. Rose is an actual. She was a girl, and that was the heroine in the movie. And so this is a. I'm preaching this sermon right now. We're gonna give me eight minutes in a minute. <laughs> it's www.thesoundtrackofrose.org. Check it out. Read the excerpt. I think you even listen to some of the ex- excerpts as well too. So part of the proceeds from that book sale will go to help support uh, the pledge. And I want to thank you, Lamar, for for, for oh, being that person, man. To yes, donate, can you give him an applause back there? To can donate, you give him an applause? To no, donate, we got we got him hooked up. Wait, see, look at that. Look at that. Hey, what? For 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 for, uh-huh, for uh-huh. believing in my in my in my vision, man, and having your book be a part of the, of, of making the difference. Exactly. Oh, come on. I, you, you you done the same for me, so you I, you know it's. I wouldn't it's, have done it because I don't not, even like it. <laughs> <laughs> only, no, I get thirty percent of the books. I'm the man of the manager. <laughs> but also too, Jody, we we now we have access really quickly because we have access to our own studio out in Colton through Dave Wheaton. Um, great facility. And we've already discussed a few things about produc- producing a few mm-hmm. projects out there. So anybody out there who's looking for production facilities, music, fashion, um, causes, how do I start my own nonprofit? I believe Ferran's resources will be available to all those out there. Yes. And Brother Jody's book, I know he's written some mm-hmm. excerpts since last month. So yes. we're believing that Lamar's publishing company will publish his book for him. We haven't talked about that yet. I'm right. just put it out there in the in, in, in the atmosphere. Calling out as doors. You better leave me alone. <laughs> you better leave me alone. Anyway, that's <laughs> mastering for the Ferran, can I just say before for everybody before we got off the off the off the air? Ferran, you guys, Ferran, you really have a, a really good heart for this. I know we we kid around and we joke, but there's always a message. But we're here to make certain that you shine. So whatever it is that you have in your heart to do, if we don't do it, God will get us out the way and bring you the people that will. So it's not about us right now. And people say that all the time. Yeah. But we're here to make certain that your vision will co- become made manifest. So when I call and ask for help from you guys, like, you guys, I don't know what to do. So I'll be, wait a minute. That's what we do. That's right. how family is. So I want to give you kudos, brother, for stepping out there yeah. by faith. And again, I want to thank all of you for for I, I my shouts out to my stepfather, Marlon, Dr. Marlon McNichols, who shared with me because I was stopped. And he was like, Ferran, that's that sickle cell is your vision. You have to realize that people have their own vision, exactly. And then you connect with other visions. Without and, a doubt. And, and so when I was when I was able to stop getting mad at my friends <laughs> for not advocating for sickle cell trade, I realized hmm. the whole purpose and vision, and it just. And here it is. Exactly. To wow. be able to have my vision and to connect with Jody's. He has exactly. his own vision. Exactly. Lamar, you have your own vision. We're talking about doing documentaries about sickle oh, cell. Oh, gosh, yeah. We're talking about going over there with Dr. Yes. Shout, calling on Dr. Sabi. Calling on Dr. Sabi. We're coming, we're coming to your location, Dr. Sabi, <laughs> real soon. We coming, and we're going to bring our camera crews and we're going to go to Dr. Sabi's over in Honduras and we're going to find out 
what's going on with yes, these exactly. sickle cell and and I'm my goal is to bring a person with sickle cell and a person with lupus mm-hmm. with us in this documentary Lamar to go spend those 30 days with us and and find out What's going really on? And see the success out exactly. And see the and success out the world. Exactly. We already got the soundtrack to that. And we already got the we already got the <laughs> there lyrics. There's a, there's a there's a there's a song. Actually, it's it's going down. For yeah. what's your brother's what's 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 Ness's last name over here? That sound engineer, our engineer back there. He just goes by Professor Ness. Is Professor that what Ness. it is? That's it. We're gonna just give him a little shout out, just show him a little love. Man, <laughs> Ness, can you give yourself give yourself an applause, Ness? Oh, Ness. No, you got the no, he got he got a button back there, brother. So I got Ness this. is my producer, man. <laughs> thank you, Ness. Thank you, man. Right on, right on. I'm here at LA Talk Live, I want to thank you man, for myself. doing <laughs> your work. Man. Well, you know what? I want to thank all of you. I want to thank you for bringing so much awareness because from from cancer to lupus to sickle cell to name it. You know, thylacemia and all these other exactly. diseases that that I only hear in commercials that are side effects from taking <laughs> oh, yeah, pills. Yeah, 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 <laughs> right. yeah. You bring in the community to it, you know, and it's not just local, but it's a it's a world vision. Global. It's, exactly. It's a world vision. Exactly. Trademark. But uh, you know, it's it's a unity, yeah. and that's where it has to come from because it's it has to be understandable. You know, like you said before, everybody believes that it's only a black right. thing. Sickle cell is only a black thing, yeah, but it's, it's not. It's not exactly just like it's lupus when it started. Thing. Nobody really knew what it was. Exactly. But I mean, I I have lupus survivors in my family and. People that have lost uh, to lupus. Yeah. I mean, survivors from having two percent chances of living, up wow. to people that were taking close to similar to what you were taking, uh, yeah. Jody, were hundreds of pills a month, yeah. which is something that we have to move away from, wow. you know. And this platform is is a wonderful tool that I, that I love that you guys are putting together and Excellent. It's only ramp- mm-hmm. ramping up and going to the next there level. Yeah, so, it's, there it's, there time, it's, it's time to take it to the next level, next level ness. And and I, I had to, we we can talk about it for so long. And mm-hmm. we've been talking about it, but now, you know, retirement days is coming. And, and my, Uh-oh. Now, you ain't retiring, I'm, brother. You just put down, from no, you put down one back. I'm, I'm using that there military experience. I'm using that military experience for 24 years. I'm mobilizing the sickle cell community. I'm coming for you, sickle cell disease. You can't up. hide. I know where you're at, and we're coming for you. The there fight you is go. On. So it's on. We're going to war on sickle cell. And I appreciate everybody for tuning in. WDC Radio. We'll be back next week. Sep- September is Sickle Cell Awareness Month, so I got an action-packed show for you every uh, Monday uh. in September. You will don't want to miss it. Sickle Cell Awareness Month in September. We're going live right here on WDC Radio. Catch me this Saturday on Trench, Trench Talk. Talk. On, at 1330, I have a female Marine, prior service Marine, coming on Trench Talk next Saturday the 31st 13:30 right here on LA Talk Live I'm going to bring her where we more than just talk <laughs> Did he really do that <laughs> I know Shout out to DBC <laughs> <laughs> at DBC Jody on Twitter No I'm just talking Peace out Hey thank you thank you for tuning in I, I'm I'm lost you, you lost me on that one We'll be back next week <laughs> make it happen the jack was green that's why he had a slow reaction scared to death didn't want to think outside the box there's nothing left cause the block is high build on some things gotta get off this corner stuck in this box and it's just a game it's a shame but it's a shame you can see there's nothing to it. Just to do it. It will change.
We know there are many choices in internet radio, and the staff and host of LA Talk Live would like to thank you for choosing the internet's hottest destination for the most eclectic sound and invigorating talk. This is LA Talk Live. We are more than just.